Well, welcome everyone to another exciting class, probably one of my most favorite classes, How to Win Every Expired Listing. Uh, we had another class previously called How to Win Every For Sale by Owner. Uh, if you guys did not see that or get that, you can always email Tony Marino and he will be more than happy to send you out the replay. Uh, again, that was a class where if you spend about five minutes in the morning uh, finding a FISBO, the rest of all the marketing materials can be and will be created by your virtual assistant that you get for free from Tony through Listing Booster. I mean, what has made these classes even more exciting for me, for you, is the fact that Listing Booster is now also acting as your virtual assistant. What has stopped many a realtor from executing some of these marketing classes is they don't want to spend, you know, half hour, an hour inputting photos and data and input into Listing Booster. Um, but now if you, all you have to do is send them um, either the MLS number or send them, um, you know, your, you know, something from the, the MLS, uh, such as an expired listing, they will take all the data out of there. They'll create all these, these marketing materials that we're going to talk about. So again, I encourage you to look at the marketing materials for the benefit that they provide to your, your prospects, but don't look at it saying, oh my God, I've got all this work to do and it's such a pain in the butt. The pain in the butt stuff is being done by Listing Booster. I want you guys to be marketers. I want you guys to be salespeople. I want you to grow, grow your business. So without further ado, it says in the, in the agenda, welcome. Uh, our host is Tony Marino today. He's the branch manager of Guild Mortgage in Naperville, Illinois. If you don't have a relationship with him, you should have a relationship with him. Uh, you know, probably one of the most brilliant guys that uh, will work on all sorts of different loan programs, challenges. Uh, since he's uh, merged with uh, Guild Mortgage, uh, Guild has even more exciting loan programs. Again, you can get more insight into that from Tony. Uh, today, again, we're going to be talking about how to win every expired listing. The tools you will need. You already will get those free of charge. Notice the word free, free listing booster account. All you got to do is email tony.marino at guildmortgage.net and say, hey, I would like a free one. Half of you on this call already have a free listing booster account. And I'm, gonna, you know, I'm excited to say you're going to start to use it now that you're looking at expireds and FISBOs. You need a free listing booster virtual assistant. Well, if you have a, a listing booster account, all you got to do is send stuff to customer service. Uh, when you go to your account, you'll see at the bottom that there is the customer service email and phone number, and you can send stuff to them and they will create it and put it into your account within Listing Booster. Lastly, you're going to need what's called a free TechSmith Capture account. You can download it by going to this uh, link that I have here. Uh, it happens to be the very first, you know, Google search, it usually comes up as the very first search for uh, TechSmith. Um, and it's, it says in parentheses, formerly Jing, J-I-N-G. That's the link you want. There are other links below it. I cannot vouch for whether or not they're going to have viruses or bad stuff that could be downloaded with, because they say, oh, you can download Jing with us. I want you only to download the TechSmith link. And that's why you can see in the link here, it says TechSmith. That's the link we know that will be virus-free and will not harm your computer. So let's take a look at a PowerPoint that I put together on how I think the expired listing can be exciting for you guys. Uh, by way of background, um, most people who might have had their home listed for sale go, coming up to Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and the winter season said, you know, it's the holiday. There's going to be fewer people out looking. Um, it's cold. Uh, they're not driving around as much. And by, besides that, I'm traveling to see relatives and friends for Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. And, you know, let's just postpone this. Let's expire the listing or cancel the listing. And what we'll do is we'll come back in the springtime when the snow is thawed and when more people are thinking about buying a home and we'll remarket the home. This is great opportunity for you guys. You've got people who had their hand raised in the air saying, I want to sell, but they've either expired or canceled their listing. And what you're going to do is introduce yourself as being a better option, a better marketer 
for their home. So let's take a look at this PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to go full screen. A little about me, I think most of you know who I am, but for those that don't, I'm the business development manager at Guild Mortgage in Naperville. I'm the chief strategist for free health for Illinois real estate agents. I use Listing Booster and today's technology to help agents win every listing presentation and sell their listings faster. I use results in advance marketing. We're gonna talk about a lot about that today, results in advance, which helps then agents double their business, increase their business. I'm married to my college sweetheart for 30 years. And I'm lucky to say that I have three beautiful daughters and three grandsons that keep me quite busy when I'm not doing this. I want to give you a, a little success story. There was a, a, a gentleman who had just started in the real estate business. He owned his own music store previously. He used the coffee cup slash flower pot strategy to win every expired or FISBO listing. He used the technology to help win every listing presentation and to sell his listings faster. He used the te technology to advertise even other agents listing. He was new in the business. He didn't have a whole bunch of listings. So what he would also do is use the listing booster to ask other agents that had listings, hey, you don't happen to have a sign writer in the front lawn. Hey, you're not using uh, text capture technology. Do you mind if I advertise your home that you've got listed for sale and I will try to market it. Well, he was picking up three, four, five, six different listings and putting sign writers in the front lawn. He was getting a whole bunch of buyers, buyer leads, and helping that agent or agents, multiple agents, sell their homes faster. So again, this is all part and parcel of what Listing Booster can, can do for you. If you're looking for more buyers, uh, you, can, you can approach other agents that have listings and ask if they, you know, if they will give you permission to advertise their listing. The long and the short of what uh, this gentleman did using the expired listing strategy is he signed up over $3.8 million in listing agreements in six months. I consider that to be quite a success. If any of us had that type of success, we'd say, hey, it's been a great year for us. So we're gonna talk about the flower pot strategy. Um, you know, it comes in different forms. I mean, it, you know, these people were using live plants. I never, I never suggested people use live plants because, you know, in my house, live things seem to die because we don't seem to water them and, and keep them alive long enough. But again, you're going to be giving out either a flower pot, a coffee cup. It doesn't really matter what the vessel is. I like coffee cups. Um, I like filling them up with little candies and then putting in my marketing materials within it. Uh, it looks like this. You got a coffee cup here. Um, you got, you know, you got your cover letter in, in the middle here. This is what I've already done for you. You've got the property brochure and you're able then to deliver this to the expired, uh, spending no more than 15 seconds at the door. And we're going to talk about, you know, I'm going to give you the script. I'm going to tell you what you need to say. Um, and again, if we can get listing booster to prepare all the marketing material for us, and then all we got to do is print a brochure, print a cover letter, stick it in a coffee cup with some candies and sprinkle our business cards in it. It's not gonna take us that long to get this thing all prepared. And then all you've got to do is go out and show off what a great marketer you are. I'm gonna move this up to the top, great. So the game plan today is we're gonna talk about lead generation. We're gonna talk about you know in-person calling, we're going to talk about uh, the essentials of selling, a daily success plan. We're going to talk about the law of reciprocity. We're going to talk about results in advanced marketing, some prospecting tips, and 10 things to do when executing your plan on the expired listing strategy. And lastly, we're going to show you how to prepare the flower pot, the coffee mug, the wine vet, whatever vessel you use. I just want you to put the marketing materials in it and deliver it. So let's talk about the essentials of selling. People do business with people that they bond with and trust. You want to find opportunities to eyeball your leads, to eyeball your expired. You want to shake their hand and introduce you as a person and not as a postcard or a voice message. Meaning, again, I want to stop here for a second. And, and if anybody has a different opinion, let me know. But I would venture to say that most realtors 
that go after expireds, you know, they look for them to come, you know, into the MLS and they're picking up the phone and they're talking to them, trying to convince the person that they're the better realtor and that I would like, you know, some some of your time to provide you with a listing presentation of what I could do better for you. Or they send out a postcard saying that, you know, I noticed that your home is, you know, was li- is expired. Uh, the listing is expired. And I would like to have the opportunity to uh, come in and talk to you about what I could do better. Again, I don't, you know, that's somewhat impersonal. Uh, I think a face-to-face is going to give you far more uh, conversions and far more opportunities to get in front of people with your listing presentation. So the key to your success is to have a daily su- success plan. And this plan can be put into your calendar. You all, you all have Outlook calendars. You have Google calendars. Uh, I have a Google, I have a Gmail Google calendar. And in there, I would want you to have one to three in-person visits a day. What I mean by that is I want you to see three expireds, two expireds and one for sale by owner, one expired and two past clients. It doesn't matter. I want you to spend you know 10 to 15 seconds going out and, and, and knocking on a door and visiting with someone in person. I'd like you to have 12 to 18 success calls per day. And these are going to be calls just on following up on what you've already delivered to an expired or what you've already delivered to a FISBO or following up with a success call to a past client, seeing how are they doing? How's the house? Is it meeting their needs? Uh, this is known as money-making activity in which, and when you do money-making activity, you're turning off your cell phones, you're not reading your emails. What you're doing is you're focusing on an hour in the morning of doing nothing other than money-making activity. I mean, if you did this, if you shut everything down and did nothing but focus on in-person visits, success calls, I think that you would watch your business grow. You could use the, you know, your loan officer, use Tony Marino as your accountability coach. He has written uh, Excel daily success plan worksheets. If you want one, contact them. They'll send it out to you, and he can be your accountability coach on a weekly basis. Today's strategy is going to give you a little bit of both. So you have to ask yourself, what is my competition doing with expireds? I kind of raised that question previously. Are they sending out a postcard? Some are. Are they calling and leaving a voice message? Many are. So you have to ask yourself, do I want to be another postcard or just another voice message? I mean, if if the expired has got 10, 12, 15 voice messages, do you want to be the 16th voice message? You're not, you're nothing unique. You're just another voice message. You're probably not going to get a call back. Have you ever wondered how to be a green fish in a goldfish bowl? It's another way of saying, do you want to have a unique selling proposition? Instead of being the 16th voice message, would you like to be something unique? How about doing results in advance? How about showing your marketing in advance to the expired? So then when they look at postcards, when they looked at voice messages, And then they look at your coffee cup, your flower pot, and it has marketing materials that have already been prepared for them. Are you going to be that green fish? Are you going to be the one that they're going to say, you know, maybe I should call this person back. Maybe I should do something with this person. So let's be different. So on a personal visit, you're going to be using results in advance marketing. You're going to use a cover letter. You're going to to be putting in there. In that cover letter, we're going to cover, I'll show it to you in a little bit. You got five things that you're going to be giving to the expired in advance. You're going to prepare your marketing pieces the day before your visit. It takes about five minutes. Once Listing Booster puts all the marketing material, meaning the property website, the text message, the property brochure, when they put it all into your account and you didn't have to do anything other than say, please create this for me, it's going to take you five minutes to finish off the cover letter and to print the brochure and put it into, say, your coffee cup and be ready for delivery. You're going to ring the doorbell after 3.30 when you decide to go out and deliver with a 50-50 chance that they're home. Why do I say 3.30? Well, again, if you know people are working, you, you want, you'd like to get a face-to-face. You know, most children are getting out of school around 3 p.m. So mom or stay-at-home dad they might, they've got the children home by 3.30. So the odds are 50-50 that after 3.30, you ring the doorbell, 
you're going to have an adult answer the door. If they're not home, you're going to see later, you know, that you need to leave. You're not going to bring all this great marketing material, your coffee cup. You're going to stick a bunch of cheap wine bags. Go to the dollar store, get a bunch of cheap wine bags. And what you're going to do is no one's home. You're going to leave the coffee cup, the flower pot with your marketing materials in the wine bag right by the front door. You're going to bring with you a bunch of post-it notes. And you're going to stick a post-it note right on the front door and said, I've left a gift for you. Ronaldo Ruiz and your phone number. It's all going to be handwritten. And then you're going to do the same thing. I've left a gift for you. Ronaldo Ruiz phone number. And you're going to stick it on his garage door. Because a lot of people, you know, they, they don't even go through the front door. They drive into the garage. But if you got a sticker that's lime green or lime yellow, as the headlights hit it, they're going to go, huh, wonder what this is. And all of a sudden, they're going to say, oh, there's a gift for me at the front door. I'm going to go get it. And they're going to bring inside your wine bag filled with all of your results in advance marketing materials. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set the appointment after they review your marketing materials. Yes, it does require that you go back a second time. Yes, it does. You know, you have to then, add, you know, did they receive the gift? Did they understand, you know, that you know, you're trying to market, market their home, should they decide to remarket their home? You know, they may not, but in the event that they do, you want to at least have them eyeball you, see that you're a decent person, that you shave in the morning, that you look decent, that, you know, that, you know, you're a clean cut individual that's associated with all this results in advanced marketing material. You're going to ask them for their phone number, for the email, if, they, if they're so kind as to give it to you. But at least you're going to have a face to face with them, you know, a day or two later after you leave your results in, in, in advance. If they're home, obviously you've had when when you ring the doorbell and you give them the results in advance marketing material, you give them the coffee cup, you'll have a face to face. And you can't tell me any of you that when you shake someone's hand and you eyeball someone, you you make an impression. You get an impression about that person on the other end of that handshake. Oh, they're a nice person. Oh, they're you know, they're someone that you know, I'd like to know more about. They're, you know, they seem to be, you know, kind and gentle. Um, you know, you can pick and choose who you want to continue to do business with by just, you know, meeting them and spending 15 seconds at the door. And I'm going to give you the script in a second when we look at the cover letter. But then again, you'll set up the, you'll, you know, even, even if you see them face to face, you're not trying to sell anything at the door. You're saying, please accept this gift of marketing materials that I've already created for you. I happen to see that your home was listed for sale and it did not sell, and that's unfortunate. But please accept this gift of marketing materials that I've already created for you. I thank you for your time. I'll check back with you in a couple of days to see you know, if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great day and you leave. If they keep you there, that's one thing. But you're not, you're not trying to sell anything other than giving them the results in advance marketing materials. The law of reciprocity. In social psychology, it refers to responding to a positive action with another positive action, rewarding kind actions. Meaning if you're giving marketing materials, results in advance, a property website, a text message, a property brochure, you're giving all this good material to someone who's thinking of possibly remarketing their home, they're probably inclined through reciprocity to want to do something kind for you, like give you an opportunity to do a listing presentation. So if you provide marketing, marketing, marketing materials in advance of your meetings with sellers, you begin to build trust and bond with the seller. Everybody else is a postcard. Everybody else is a voice message. You're the one who did a face-to-face. -face. You're the one that built for them marketing materials in advance. To me, you go to the top of the pile. You go to the top of the possibilities of being able to list that home. You just may receive a positive action back from the seller because nobody else has done that for them. So you can use the law of reciprocity on your new listing appointments, expireds, FISBOs, current and past database. So results in advanced marketing. First, you have to wonder why the expireds home did not sell and why they did not renew their listing agreement. In the eyes of the seller, it was not enough marketing of their home 
to bring a suitable buyer to purchase their home. Now, the realtor might have a different story. I mean, they might say, you know, they were unreasonable on price. And they, but in the eyes of the seller, it's, well, the realtor just didn't do enough for me. They didn't do enough marketing for me. Your focus is on marketing, marketing, and marketing their home. So in fact, any flyer, any brochure, or website should make no mention of price. When you look in the MLS, you're going to see what the last price was. You do not put that into the property website. You do not put that on your flyers. You do not put that in your property brochure. You put a dollar in there, which means that, you know, that you don't have a price yet. You haven't had a, you haven't a, you have not had a sit down. You have not had a listing presentation. You want there to be a discussion on what the price should be. What if the, the price that was in the MLS was the bone of contention with the seller? You know, they were saying, you know, I, you know, I, I think this is unreal. I think it should have been a higher price. It should have been, you know, something more than you do not want to put the last price in the MLS in your marketing material. Put a dollar, you'll find out down the road what is the price that you think they think, and you'll provide them with all the data as to why the price should be what it's going to be. And what if you prepared the following in advance, a property website, and we're going to take a look at it with photo gallery, virtual tour, what's nearby in the neighborhood, a virtual tour, a colored property brochure, which is really cool. What do you see with this, what's called essential places, which is called restaurants nearby and outdoor activities nearby. Each one of these is a separate page. And you and the seller get to pick what are the essential places. Using AI, Listing Booster shows you, let's say, the local restaurants that are nearby. But maybe the seller says, oh, I got a really great Mexican restaurant, or I got a really great steakhouse, or outdoor activities. I got this really cool golf range that, you know, that, or golf course that just opened up. There's a drop down, and you can pick and choose with them what it is that you want to put on the property brochure. And what if you prepared in advance a mobile application with a text message number to allow the property website to download into their cell phone? for drive-by prospects and prospects would also find it in social media. And what if it took you only five minutes to prepare all this? Because all of this was done by Listing Booster. Your five minutes is finding it in the MLS and sending it over to Listing Booster. And what if Listing Booster was your free virtual assistant that prepared all these marketing materials? Pretty amazing. So what if your, your presentation looked like this? Coffee cup, candies, cover letter, property brochure, your, your business cards. Then if it looks like that, we can get started. So 10 things to do when executing this plan. Start sorting your MLS in the morning. It's free. You just log into your MLS, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Or you can, you can buy a subscription for FISBOs and expired package from somebody like say Red X. Red X charges about $89 a month if that's what you want. You download the leads a couple times per week. You're gonna time block about two hours a day, of which an hour is spent preparing your materials for the next day for delivery. You're gonna visit one to two people per day after 3.30, selling nothing at the door. Just letting them know it's unfortunate their home did not sell and that you're, you, you would like the opportunity to market market their home should they decide to resell and in the meantime please accept this gift of marketing materials that you've already created for them have a great day spend 15 to 30 seconds at the door if they are home if not leave the flower pot or, or the coffee cup in a wine bag at the door put a post-it note on the door not or in the garage door call 10 to 15 people a day Follow up on all these. Because again, if you're doing one a day, I mean, if I was a realtor, you guys are making me get excited to be a realtor. If I was a realtor and it took me five minutes a day to find an expired, that means I got five in one week. I got 10 in two weeks. I got 20 in a month. I got plenty of people to call on to, you know, to, to find out you know, if, in fact, I can do a listing presentation with them. Log your results into a database. I guarantee if you start doing 20 in a month, and let's say you're wild and crazy like Ronaldo Ruiz, and say that you wanted to do two a day. And so now you have 
40 in a month. Then you got 80 in two months. And you got 120 in three months. You are busy, busy, busy as all get go, you know, trying to find out who you want to do business with, who's nice, who's kind, who's somebody that you want to help. For those that are yellers and screamers and all that, you don't want to do business with them. But the fun thing is you got 120 people in three months to pick and choose from. Call back, send out drip material and show you some drip material and try to set, you know, five appointments a week, one a day where you're doing a listing presentation. Once you start to build up a bunch of leads, start setting that you'd like to at least get one listing presentation a day. Follow up with everybody. And most importantly, focus on wanting to interview for the job of marketing their home should they decide to relist. You're not trying to sell them on how great a realtor you are or how big your firm is. We're one of the biggest and we sell homes in your neighborhood. No, focus on them. It's all about them, not about you. So focus on marketing, marketing their home. So as you prepare for an expired, find an expired in the MLS, and I'll show you that in a second, and have Listing Booster create a property website. And then you're going to copy that URL of, of, the, of the property website into your cover letter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to then create your cover letter that states, this is what I've already done for you. And you're going to tri-fold it, and you're going to put it in the flower pot or into the coffee cup. And then what you're going to do is you're going to print a property brochure. You're going to roll it up colored side out because it does have the address of their home. I don't know about you and me, about you guys, but if I saw the address of my home on something rolled up in the coffee cup or the flower pot, I'm going to pull it out and look at it. And this brochure is like a six pager. It's beautiful. I'm going to show it to you in a second and place a colored rubber band around it and put it into the coffee cup or the flower pot. And then what you're going to do is you're going to text. And again, the system will give you the text number. It's always, always going to be to 844-573-0700 to view the mobile version of the property website. The reason I want you guys to text it, I want to make sure it works. And then you put it in your cover letter. And then sprinkle your business cards in there. Get your business cards in there, insert the rolled up brochure, the trifold cover letter, and be prepared for a big wow from the expired because the expired is not getting that from you guys are totally unique. Nobody's doing this. No, if you guys are looking to get more listings, this is something that you guys can do in five minutes in the morning, have a virtual assistant prepare all the marketing material, and all you got to do is print and go deliver and talk. So who is the expired going to call if they're serious about listing their home in the future in the spring market? Is it the agent that sent them a postcard? They've never met the agent. Is it going to be the agent that left them a voice message? I, they, they don't know who that, that agent is. And maybe they haven't even returned that call. Or is it the agent that left them a flower arrangement or a coffee cup with already created marketing materials where you said nothing's being bought or sold here? I just wanted to interview for the job. When you're ready, Mr. and Mrs. Expired, when you're ready, I just want to be among the chosen to give you a, a listing presentation to show you what I can do to help market your home and, and sell it quickly, profitably, in a hassle-free manner. Again, compliments of Tony. Thank you so much for this presentation. Let's go to the practicality of this. Let's go back to the agenda. It says, review the cover letter for the results in advance that you have for the expired. So what I want to do is I want to bring up the cover letter that's going to go into the flower pot. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at what it is. Here's Melinda. Melinda, you only have three things to change on this. It is so easy. So I'm, again, I'm just going to show you guys where the three changes are. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll read through it quickly, but the three changes happen to be highlighted in, in purple or blue. When you do the next expired, you're going to have to put in the new link to the property website. That's a copy and paste. You're going to have, you don't change them for the text message number. That's number two. 
this 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 changes down here the view 14769 each property each expire gets its own text number so that's number two you got to change all that wow that's that's not real hard you don't change this pitch deck that's that's uh that shows the many ways that you market someone's home so i'm sorry it was only two changes that you had to do i don't know about you guys but Something tells me that you guys could copy and paste in less than a minute and print this brochure. And again, it, at the very end, it says, you guys can get a half hour of my time. I'm giving you my email and contact information at the bottom of this. And, you know, if you need me to put your picture in here, I can do that. Um, it's, you know, creating this stuff is very easy because now Melinda's going to have this permanently on her computer and she's got to make two changes every time Listing Booster puts a new expired into her account. So let's take a look at this. And this is basically your script. Although I'm going to tell you that I shortcut it. I come down to this very last sentence, please accept. But, you know, if she rings the doorbell, what is she going to do? She's going to say, hi, I'm Melinda with HomeSmart Realty Group of Arlen Park. I recently noticed your home was listed for sale and it did not sell. That's unfortunate. Should you decide to remarket your home, I would just love the opportunity to interview for the job of marketing, marketing, marketing your home. If you don't want to repeat yourself, just say marketing your home. And then you can just drop down here for the script. Please accept this gift of marketing materials that I've already created for you to help you sell your home quickly, profitably, in a hassle-free manner. You're done. You're done at the door. Hand them, hand them the flower pot. Hand them, hand them the coffee mug. It's filled with your marketing materials. And what is it? You're not going to go through this at the door. They're taking you inside. They'll see. The rest of it says, I've already created for you a property website with its own photo gallery, virtual tour, places nearby, restaurants nearby, outdoor activities nearby, local schools, and property brochures for potential buyers to print and put in their short stack for further consideration. Your home's website is. Well, let's go take a look at this. Well, this looks pretty doggone nice to me. It comes, this is the homepage. And obviously it's got highlighted photos of, of the house. It comes with photo gallery, which I'm not going to go through. You guys have seen enough photo galleries. Uh, it comes with... Let me go back and get it. I closed it out accidentally. Comes with a map of the area. Comes with a virtual tour. Comes with nearby places. I want to focus on this a little bit. Um, and again, each one of these is editable. And I'm going to show you that when we go through how you're going to, how you can create this. Even after, uh, listing booster creates this for you. When you get to the listing presentation, you can then sit with the customer, the seller and say, are these what you would find as being convenient in, in your neighborhood? So again, you know, this is places conveniently nearby. This is restaurants nearby, Scrambler Dinner, Beggar's Pizza, Harold's Chicken. This is outdoor recreation, golf, dog park, tennis. Those are kind of cool things that, that sellers like to highlight when they're trying to sell their home. So it, you know, it, it, it is a, a, a nicety. So again, this is the this is the property brochure that the system created for you. Melinda didn't do anything for this. Listing Booster did this for her. So then when you go back to um, the cover letter, it says, I've also created a property brochure that describes the many beautiful features of your home, a text message number to capture more buyers, and the property website name for easy lookup. You can print as many as these like for your family, your friends, your business associates, 
see the sample that's rolled up in the coffee mug. And so what does that look like? Well, here is the brochure. And the brochure, property brochure, you're, gonna, you're rolling it up colored side out so they see the address of the property. Kind of a nice little intro with some very nice pictures. And each of these breaks, if you see the break here, this is an eight and a half by 11, you know, going sideways. And then here's page two with some more beautiful pictures. Here's page three with property highlights about the property. Here's page four, essential places nearby. Here's number five, restaurants nearby. And here's page six, outdoor activities. Great, great, great little brochure for for showing off to to the you know to to the expired. Again, going back to the cover letter, it says I've also created a mobile application for your home's listing, a text message number allowing potential buyers to get more information about your home from a sign writer or brochure. So this text message number is going to go on a sign writer. Do you guys see the sign writer down here? It's it built into it's baked into the cover letter. So this is something that you can show that you're going to buy for them a sign writer should they list with you and it's going to get them more buyers i see tons of listings out there and i do not see sign writers i don't see them staked in the lawn i don't see them put on top of the yard sign but you're telling them i'm going to create a text message number and a sign writer so we get you more buyers now i want everybody on this call take out your cell phones for a second and what i want you to do is I want you to text VIEW14769 to 844573. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the phone number. So open up your text, texting capabilities on your cell phone. And I want you to, you're, you're texting to 844-573-0700. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to then the message in the message box, you're to type in view, V I E W, 14769 and hit send. And would somebody then unmute themselves and tell me what you see? And tell me if it isn't pretty impressive. Put yourself now in the, in the mindset of an expired. Oh, this is great. It says tour it on your phone. It shows the property address, the basics, and it has a phone number to call. I assume that's Yeah, yeah, but now but now there's a link. Click the click the yeah, blue link. Click the link. Yeah. Yeah. And now and now watch what shows up. Yeah, it has uh, the exactly the presentation that you just did about all the property features and uh, the stores, the description of the property also has the listing booster. Yeah, it's, it's um, you know, to me, if, you know, what, what, what is your react? If you were an expired, would that be something that'd be rather impressive? Do you think the previous realtor was providing them with that? And, and you're saying this is what's going to be on the sign writer as drive-by buyers go by your home. They're going to get this downloaded into their phone. And guess what? You, the realtor, Melinda just got, every one of you that just did this texting, Melinda's phone is blowing up right now. She's getting, hey, this phone number just called for the property. This this other cell phone called for this property. You, you the realtor, are getting all of these notifications of potential buyers. Isn't that pretty cool? I would think it's something that you guys would thoroughly enjoy demonstrating to a potential seller saying, this is the technology that I use to help bring you more buyers. And then there's a short video that I'd like to share with you. Uh, the, the, uh, this, this is how you market your home. It's, it's, it's a little high tech in the sense that it, in today's marketplace, more young buyers are doing a lot of streaming. They're, they're, they're on Roku, they're on Apple TV, they're on Google TV. Well, what you're doing here is you're sharing with the seller that you're going to put their home on TV. So let's take a look at what this is all about. And let me know if you guys cannot hear the, 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 uh, 
the audio. It's a little two I minute. Can't hear it. Can you hear it now? Yes. Yes. In a market where inventory is low, this four bedroom home will not last long. Or. Is it already too late? See this listing in its entirety on MoveTube. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So again, that's something that you're delivering with your cover letter that they can just put that into their browser on their computer. And they again can see more of what you're doing as a realtor for them. There are social media templates, which I won't go through at this point, but they're already pre-made for you for Facebook, for Instagram, for Twitter. Um, again, very cool stuff. You download uh, the templates, and then you can upload them into the Facebook, into Instagram, into Twitter. May I have 30 minutes of your time to show you all the marketing materials I've already created for you. You will not be disappointed. Thank you in advance for your time. I'm dedicated to your success in the marketing of your home. Call me, Melinda, today so I can start marketing your home tomorrow. Thank you, Sal, email, and who she's with. Um, great, great little cover letter. It has the script. Yo, know, that you start out telling someone, please accept this gift. So again, let's let's go back to the agenda. Um, the agenda is says we showed you the uh, cover letter. Um, uh, remember, I guess that listing booster is free. Everything that you just saw is free to you. You just have to contact Tony and ask him to uh, send you an invite to give you a free account. Uh, I would like to show you if if somebody wants to try this manually, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how it's done. But again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because I don't think a lot of you are going to do it manual. But if you're computer literate and you really like doing this, I'm going to show you a couple of really quick things. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log into your MLS. And so let's go to the MLS. And the first thing we're gonna do after we log in is we're going to click the search button up here. We're trying to do a general search of detached single families. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go here. So detached single. So for status, what we're gonna do is we're going to click off 
all that is in here right now. And the only thing we want to look at is canceled or expired. Canceled or expired. And we're going to say, cool, we like that. Then we're going to come down. I mean, if you want to specify that you only want three bedrooms or more, great. If you wanted to say how many baths, you can leave these blank if you like, but let's leave them. Oh, here in the area. Uh, this is the area that Melinda wants to market. So why touch that? Those are the areas that she wants to be known as, you know, the go-to realtor. She wants to look for expireds in her market. And then it says, how many months back do you want to look? And six months is probably a good time. And then from there, all she has to do is say, view the results. Look at this, 276 matches. And all I want today, my goal today, my daily success plan said, get one. So what I'm going to do is, if you notice, the way the MLS works is it starts out with the, the lowest price to the more expensive price. And it takes as much work on a, on a lower priced one as it does on a more expensive one. So what I did was I chose this 229 Burnham. It was an expired and I clicked on it, and it opened it up for me. Now, the thing that you have to do when you're looking for an expired is you have to click this additional information button because it may be expired, but they may have also relisted and have a new MLS number with that same agent. So you, you as you know, you, you know, for your ethics, you can't advertise or go after you know somebody that's already listed with another agent. So you click additional information, and you come down here to what's called listing and property history, listing and property history and click on it. And what I look for is, you know, this person has had, you know, they've been in the market, they've been out of the market, they've been in the market, they've been out of the market. And so here is, I'm looking at the very top line, the latest one, this is July, July, August. It is EXP, it's still expired. Ding, 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 I've got a good one. They're not relisted. They're not contingent. They're not pending sale. So this one is an opportunity. It's 465000 which again, you're not going to put that number into, um, into listing booster. Um, you know, when you send, when you send this over to listing booster, you're going to say, and please put in the price of a dollar. And I'll show you where, where that comes into play. So great. So this, this would have been a, a really good one. And then what I would do is I would go over to now my email. And again, you guys have uh, opportunities to email these. Again, I'm not as proficient as you guys. But again, you can either download it and email it. Um, you know, there's you can print it. But again, I, you, you want to get it over to uh, Listing Booster. And let me see if I get rid of this, if I can find, there it is, there's the email. So you can click on this button here and you can then email this with the photos and everything to Listing Booster. Now, someone's gonna say, Glenn, we cannot use the pictures of another agent. Marketing this, you don't even have a listing agreement. This is not even gonna be live. It's gonna be nowhere to be found. You can't find it in Google, you can't find it. That property website that we clicked on is only in your account. It's nowhere to be found. It's not in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. It's not in the internet. It's nowhere to be found. So my point is, yes, you're using those pictures. But again, if you want to make, you know, when you get to your listing presentation with this per, this expired, you're going to tell them, I'm going to delete all these pictures. And again, they may have good pictures that, that you're seeing. Sometimes these houses don't sell because the pictures were terrible. There was ketchup and mustard bottles on the kitchen counter. I mean, you guys are gonna send in Virtuance. You're gonna send in your own professional photographer. You're gonna do your own pictures. Those you can market in the internet. Those you can make live, but you can't, you know, this is not gonna be live. So all we're doing for, this is all for purposes of show and tell of what you're capable of doing, but you will not keep these pictures. So having said that, what you would then do is you're going to go over here to Listing Booster, and we're logged into Melinda's account. It says, hello, Melinda. And what you would do is you would go to your listings. And again, what, 
when you have live listings, all you have to do is, you know, you'll auto import from the MLS. They'll ask you what the MLS number is, but you know, this is an expired, it's not a live listing. So that doesn't work. So we'd have to do manually add a listing. And when we click manually add, there's only two steps. What I love about listing booster is one step is put in some of the data. Step two is upload the pictures and AI takes over and picks up all the rest of the information of restaurants and places and outdoor activities and all this great stuff. So again, add, add a new listing. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back because I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna spend time adding it. I'm gonna show you, see here, it is not live on loop. This is the one we just picked on uh, the MLS from Melinda, 22929 Burnham Avenue. It is not live. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to then uh, look at, I'll hit, click the edit pencil. This is step one. MLS number, TBD, uh, it could be active, pending, or sold. I just leave it as active, but again, it's, it's active in, not in the sense of being an active listing in the MLS. The property would be for sale. Notice it's a dollar. Do not put 465,000. If you guys make any notes, put down, do not put any, any amount for the purchase price. Wait until your listing presentation. Address, zip code, this is all copy and paste stuff from your MLS. Illinois, Chicago Heights, Cook, single family, three bedrooms, two baths, square footage, <clears throat> lot, year bill, taxes, property description. Can you guys copy and paste? That's all this was. Um, don't auto, auto update the MLS. I said map this by street address. So again, these latitude and longitude were left blank by, by me and uh, AI dropped this in here for me. The school district, um, I happened to cheat a little bit. What I did was I, I could have put the address in and just asked Google, what are the school districts? But I also went to realtor.com where it was previously listed. And they were kind enough to show me all the school districts, the high school, the junior high, the elementary. Um, then additional features. You just click this button down here and you can add in. I, I saw some really cool features that uh, were being identified in the MLS description. So I just called them out. And once you're done with all this, you, you would click save and it would move you to step two. Step two is add or edit the photos. All right, since I've done this, what I'm gonna show you is how I did this. I'm only gonna do like two photos because the rest of them are already here. So what I did was you, you, when you're in step two, you click drag and drop. It went to my desktop where if you notice here, I already have a folder called 229 Burnham. What I did was I clicked this button called New Folder. I named the folder Burnham. So I'm gonna open this up. And here's all, all the pictures, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to, um, I'm gonna go back to the MLS. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the photos. And what I'm gonna do is when I right click on it, let me, I'll, take, I'll take this picture for example. Um, okay, you wanna make them as the, lar the large, large as possible. And so what I'm gonna do is um, right click. I'm going to save the image as, if you notice, it's being saved as a JPEG. That's what you want. And so then what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna go to, where do you wanna save it? So I don't wanna click save yet. So what I'm gonna do is it's on my desktop. It's this 229 Burnham, that folder. So I'm gonna open it up. Come on. Okay, let's cancel this and start from the beginning again. It's the beauty of um, live. Am I only getting one picture? The 
If anybody knows why I'm not, how I can get to other pictures, let me know. Because I had all the pictures before. It, it seems that here is not showing, but only that particular picture. No more other picture. I know. Um, and that was not what I had like two days ago. So, I mean, I'm trying to. I will once again go over here. Well, I I want to let you know that I'm having technical difficulty, but the you have to believe me that all I did was I got all the pictures and I was able then to go to my um here and I was able to drag you know to save them. Once they were in that folder, like if I'm going to drag and drop, so I would then go to this folder where, as you can see, I've got all the pictures. And let's just say for sake of discussion, I wanted to upload this picture. So I would click that picture and say open. And it drops it down in the very last. Here's that picture that I just uploaded. So again, you're going to go to the MLS, you're going to click on it, you're going to open up the pictures, you're going to save them to a folder on your desktop. And then when you're in Listing Booster, you're going to be able to then drag and drop. And when they click drag and drop, it's going to say where you want me to drop the pictures from. And you're going to say, well, I'd like it from that folder called 229 Burnham, where I got all my pictures. And you'll hit Open. And again, what I did, when I did this, I did, I clicked the very first picture and then I clicked shift and I clicked the last one and it highlighted all the pictures. I uploaded them all at once. Again, you don't have to pay real close attention to this because again, Listing Booster is gonna do this for you, but I just wanted you to see that this was the second step I'm gonna delete this picture down here because I don't really need it or want it. And then I'll hit save. And so I'm back here to, these are all my listings, so to speak. And again, it's not live. Then it says, I'm gonna go to listing settings. And this is what I want you guys to do once you get it back from listing booster. You got abbreviated description. Is there anything in here that you don't like or something that's wrong? Again, you can then edit it and, and correct it. Then go to your photo order. This may or may not, I you, you see this, these crossbars up here? These crossbars allow you to drag and drop. If you notice the F and the B, F for flyer, B for brochure. I wanted to make sure I got a kitchen picture into the flyer and the brochure. I want to make sure I got the master bedroom into the brochure. I want to make sure that I got this beautiful sunroom into the brochure. So I did drag pictures and then I just let them go and you know they 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 go wherever I I drag them. And obviously then I tried to put the kitchens together with the pantry and the living space and then I got to the bedrooms and then I got to the outside. So again, you know, to how you'd like to see the 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 house presented. Uh open house dates there's going to be none cuz it's not a, it's not your listing yet. You don't have any open house dates. Nearby schools, this is so cool. This is where, again, you you can and the seller can say, well, these are better, better schools. This school doesn't have the best reputation. Or what about the middle school? Well, you chose Rickover, but they happen to say, well, Sandridge Elementary is much better. And then you can go to Bloom Trail High School. Okay, and you can see that there's other choices that they can make. This is all editable. Nearby places, um, fitness center, anytime fitness, but they go, oh, yeah, this is this is not as good as uh, Orange Theory. So you click Orange Theory. Cool. I mean, these will then fill into the, those flyers that are attached to the property website and into your property brochure. Same thing with restaurants. You can say, OK, um, great Mexican restaurant. But you know what? I think in town. Um, there's there's really a great Italian restaurant, uh, Tony's Italian Deli. Although 
it could be one of these umpteen different Italian uh, restaurants. You know, maybe it's Rosati's Pizza. Again, you can change this up with the seller. The outdoor activities, golf, um, you're getting it now. And so here was the text message that you guys texted, view 14769. Originally, when it comes back, yeah, you, you'll have to, to see whether or not they create it for you. If not, you create them here. You say, I want to use the word view. You could use any other word. Tour this house. See this house. Home. Wow. Get. Let's just say we're using view. You want to generate one new keyword. And you hit generate. And you hit OK. And so now you've got the next one is view 14776. And when your next property comes along, again, you could reserve 10 of these if you want, or three of these, five, or however many you want. But the next one, see, there's no property. So when the next property comes along, you're going to assign view 14776 to that property. Kind of cool. And then what you're going to do is your property website, that's it here. And then the virtual tour, it's saying if you have your own virtual tour, again, some of you deal with, let's say, virtual ones, and maybe you create your own virtual tour with them, you'd prefer that one to be used versus the one that's being created by Listing Booster. Well, paste the link in here and hit save, and you're off to the races. Once you've reviewed the settings, you're going to save it to the launch pad. It takes a few minutes. But again, think of it. Let's, you know, while this is doing that, what are the steps that, that you or Listing Booster had to go through? You had step one was all the, the inputs, address, bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage, school districts, et cetera. Step two is upload the photos. Again, you, you'll be able to open up through the MLS all the pictures and you'll be able to one by one, save them to a folder on your desktop. And then all you have to do is in step two, where it says drag and drop, you're going to drag and drop them into, you know, the photos within Listing Booster and you're done. Those are the two steps. Then you're going to come over to settings and say, is everything the way I like it? Okay. Then you're going to save it to the launch pad. Here's the launch pad. So, now here at the launch pad, there's a couple of things. This listing trailer, I don't know if you've caught, you know, this is all new to you guys, but these listing trailers, what you can do is, that was that guy eating the popcorn and showing like a 30 second glimpse, maybe it's a 20 second glimpse of the property. That can be used in Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn to announce that this property is coming to market. Pretty cool, pretty cool feature. First off, you got a guy fumbling with popcorn, it's going to get attention and it's going to show this property, which within it, it's going to have a link to the property website if somebody wants to see more about it and it's going to have your contact information. Secondly, here's your flyers. Again, what I would do is I would use the property brochure for your expired listing. So you go over here for printing, you go to the PDF. And here is your brochure. It's six pages. There's beautiful Linda's face and her contact information. And you got this beautiful brochure. Nice, 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 nice presentation. Then what you're looking for is um, these are all your social media. This is Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, where you can post that this was just listed. Uh, a preview, say, you know, here's a a preview of what it looks like, okay? So you can put this into, you can download it and you can put it into, you know, your, your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn. Remember those three area graphics, the uh, nearby places, restaurants nearby, outdoor activities? These are, the all you gotta do is click on these buttons 
because when you set up your account with Listing Booster, they're going to ask, what's your Facebook? What's your Twitter? What's your LinkedIn? And they will then you click these buttons and it'll automatically then put those infographics with the address of the property uh, into your Facebooks, into your Twitter, into your LinkedIn. Here is the property website. You want to send it to the client? Like I just asked you, and you know, remember you texted view 14769. You can click this button and you can email it to the client asking them to see this beautiful property website that you've created by having them text view 14769. And again, the property website, when you want to view it, you just click the view button and lo and behold, here it comes. And it looks absolutely gorgeous with photo gallery all the way down to printing of flyers. And Facebook Marketplace is available here, a Craigslist posting tool. So you've got a lot of marketing power with this listing booster. No, did I tell you what it cost you? Did I tell you that it was free? Of course I did. It's free to you guys that, that, that contact Tony. So again, let's go back to the agenda. We showed you the property website. You showed We showed you the cover letter. We reminded you the listing booster is your free assistant. We showed you how to manually do it. We created the cover letter. We printed the brochure. You had several of your business cards. My belief is you should purchase a sign writer and bring it to your listing presentation. How do you do that? Well, what you do is you come over here. Uh, you go back to your dashboard. This is Melinda. This is her dashboard. And do you see where it says order sign writers? You click on sign writer and you call this number 855-743-7431. And you say, hey, I like this one, design number one. And you tell them the text message that, you know, I would, I would leave one, I would leave a sample expired like L Melinda has in your, in your, I'm going to say listing portfolio within listing booster, such that you can always bring it to a listing, always bring this to your listing presentation and demonstrate for them this, even though they may or may not have done that because you've got it in your cover letter, at least bring a sample sign writer to the meeting so they can see, feel, and touch it. And that you can once again, text it to this 844-573-0700. Very cool. And then use a master lead sheet to manage your 20 to 40 leads per month. Create follow-up material. All right. Again, I'm not going to spend time showing you how to do this. Anybody who's interested can contact me and I'll show you how to do this. But I am going to show you what it looks like. Create a door hanger using an Avery label 16150 and leave it if they're not home on your first follow up. In other words, you left it with the posted note on the posted note in lime green on the front door in the garage and they've taken it inside. A couple of days later, you go back to, to see if you can not meet them face to face and see if they have any questions. And if they're interested in having a discussion on you know, how you can help market their home, you have a listing presentation. And if they're not home on that, you could leave them this beautiful door hanger. And again, this is a 16150. There is a perforated line down the middle. It comes as you, whenever you print them, they come two to a page. And again, once you have this master template, Melinda is not going to change her her picture, she's not gonna change her contact information. She will change, the, she has to copy and paste the link to the property website here, that's one change. The second change is she has to copy and paste the front image of the, of the property, that's change number two. Change number three, there is none. Melinda's always gonna be Melinda, Melinda's always gonna be her phone number. So. If I give this to you, all you have to do is, oh, I'm sorry, the third change is this view 14769. So there is three changes that you have to make to this on each expired. How long would that take you to copy and paste? Not long. So again, very cool thing. They weren't home in the second time. You notice these little holes up here, you punch these out, they, they, they fit on a door handle, put it on their door handle and, and you go, have a great day. 
again, you're beating them over the head with this is this is what I've done for you. Check it out and call me. So again, let's go back to our agenda. It says, then create six drip material pieces. If the expired states that they won't be listing for 30, 60 days, you're going to mail or email these out each week, depending upon whether you got their email address at the door on your second visit. And again, you know the mailing address because you you know you got it from the MLS. It's two two nine two nine Burnham, so you can mail these out. And again, I'm not going to I'm not going to go through uh, the preparation of them, but I just want to show you that again. How long would it, you're you're going to say they not going to list for six weeks? You got six drip pieces here. I would print one at a time. Property website. Don't forget, I've already created this great property website to get you more buyers. Here's the link to the property website. So when you're working on your next one, you're gonna copy this and you're gonna paste, I'm sorry, you're gonna highlight it and you're gonna paste in your new property website. One change. Melinda's phone number is not gonna change. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna print this one page. She's gonna handwrite, you know, you know, give me a call. It says down here, may I please have 30 minutes of your time to show you all the marketing tools. I can be reached at 708 5103 very truly yours, Melinda, and put a business card in there. Try fold it and mail it. Second week, remember I've already created a beautiful virtual tour. You're not gonna change any of this language. The only thing you're gonna do is change the blue link. And the second thing is you're gonna copy and paste using, remember I said you guys need to get TechSmith. You're going to use this TechSmith capture button and I'll show you that in a quick second. It's really, really easy. Um, let's just say, um, you know, for the property website, we want to we want to change this on the next expired. How would we do the picture? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the property website. Go down here to our property website. <clears throat> and when you click then this TechSmith capture, it comes up as a little red, red ball. There's your little red ball. You, you click capture and it gives you, you know, quadrants. North, south, east, west. And so what you're gonna do is you put it in the upper left corner and you go down to the upper, the lower right corner. And you say, I wanna capture it as, on my camera, I wanna capture it as an image. And you hit copy. And of course, Again, I'm having technical difficulty. So it will copy. I think I've just got too much going on with my bandwidth here. But then you would copy it. And then what you can do is you'll go back over here to your to your drip material. And you would say, Click inside, you'll get these sizers, right click, and you can click paste. And I'm doing it right now, and it hits paste, and lo and behold, there's your new property website for your second property. So again, you'll need it, download uh, the free TechSmith download, and you'll be able to copy and paste these images in. Same thing, when you go to um, the virtual tour, what you're gonna do here is you're going to change the link that's running up in your browser, copy and paste it. You're then going to, using the TechSmith capture, highlight the very front, very first part of the virtual tour, copy, paste it into your Word document. Week number three, again, these are things you're doing weekly. How long will it take you to hear? Mobile application, you've already created this mobile app to get them more potential buyers. The phone number doesn't change. So all you're doing is changing this 14769. You don't even have to copy and paste. All you have to do is type. 
The rest of it remains the same. The phone number remains the same. Movie two. You're not doing anything with this one. This is week four. To spread the good word about the many benefits of your home, I've already created a movie trailer that can be seen by buyers that stream on their devices at Roku, Apple TV, and others. I've already created a property brochure. This is week five. Again, take, use the TechSmith capture, copy, paste the image, and from there, um, I mean, that's all you're really changing. You know, the, the brochure, and I also took one of the, the brochure. This is like page five of the brochure. So it allows me to put in two jings or two captures. And that was it on that one. That was week five. And then week six, nothing to change other than mail it or email it to them and just remind them that, you know, you've got, you're ready to do postings in social media should they decide to you know, list with you. Again, great, great material, not over the top. Um, you're signing your name in the white space below. There's plenty of room for you to sign your name and put a business card and mail it off to them. If after six follow-up pieces, they're not interested, so be it. But you also have 40 a month if you're doing two a day or 20 a month if you're doing one a day that you've got, you've got plenty to follow up on. So again, let's go back to the agenda. You got six strip materials. Now, last but not least, again, I'm not gonna try to do this. This takes all of like 10 minutes. Create 201 things that you do to sell their home as a drip material piece in the event that they're saying, hey, Melinda, I know I got you and another realtor are in the, I, I, we're trying to make that decision this Saturday. This Saturday, we're going to make a final decision on who we're going to list with. Well, you know what? You bring out the big guns then. You bring out this really cool piece that I got for you guys that says, this is the 201 things. This is the 201 things that will help sell your home fast and for top dollar. And what it's going to do, it's going to start out with a copy of the property website. It's going to it's going to say this is my 201 step program. This is 32 pages, and again, I'm not going to go through all 32 pages. It's going to it's going to have your picture, your contact information, your core values of honesty and integrity. It's going to have your 201 steps. But what's so cool about it is after we get through the steps, not all agents are equal. You have an exit strategy for them. Suggested questions that they can use for other agents. Um, you know, how, how price is determined, your pricing guidelines, you know, what's most important or what are you most concerned about, seller? What are the benefits of proper pricing? The drawbacks of overpricing that you're going to be, you're going to give them text messaging capability. You're going to get them into the internet, to Facebook. You're going to help them with contract and negotiations, some common myths, and some questions that they can ask of you should they have further questions. Again, I want this delivered. You know, if they're making their decision on Saturday, I want this delivered on Wednesday or Thursday. I want them to get through the 32 pages. But you know what? It's between you and another realtor. I've been told that they're making a decision. I've given them follow-up pieces. I'm going to knock, I would put this in a clear cover. You can go to, where do you want to go? Staples. And you can put this 32 pages with a clear cover because the very front of it, if you recall, is their home. It's, it's the copy of the property website. That's what I want. That I want that seen through the clear cover and you're going to drop it off. You know, whether they're, they're their home or not, you're dropping it off, making sure that they know that it's been dropped off. And it, you know, tell them that I wanted you to have this as you're making your final decision. So let's wrap this up. You have to love the expired listing strategy because it only takes five minutes in the in each morning. You got a free virtual assistant in Listing Booster. There's reasons to add Tony Marino to your team. If you're not working with him, you should be. Not only is he going to give you these marketing materials, he's going to give you a free listing booster, a free virtual assistant, but he's going to give you a, a one heck of a lot of great knowledge on how to get your clients pre-approved. You can 
on any of the material that we have here today, you can contact me, Glenn Marino, at glenn.marino at guildmortgage.net. You can get a half hour of my time. And from there, I'll help get you over through the challenges of you know, getting something, getting your listing booster account set up, although listing booster will do that for you. Um, Tony will send you the link, but I can help you with getting expireds in there. I can help you get FISBOs in there. Uh, again, I ask for a Google review. If you liked what Tony and I have provided for you, click this link or put it into your browser because I'll send out this agenda to all of you. And I challenge you, every one of you, I, I would love to hear whether or not you were able to get at least one listing, one expired listing a day, and that tell me how long it took you to create the coffee cup or to create the, the flower pot. I mean, to me, the coffee cup is so simple because I can go out to the dollar store and buy colored coffee cups and get like five or six of them for a buck. So, I mean, do this, you know, make your 2024 your best year ever. I think you guys have got a great opportunity here and watch the FISBO one. Go to Glenn Marino's YouTube channel and you should be able to find that uh, that uh, recorded recorded class also. Pick which one you like. I happen to like this one the most because it's the easiest. And I think you guys will have a great, great 2024.